All right, guys, so in my previous video, I showed you I installed the Pocket 4K tilter cage on my camera. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and see if this setup will work with a DJI Ronin S follow focus motor setup. Now, good news is that if you are purchasing this half cage like I have here, you will actually not need this anymore, this offset plate, because the bottom of the camera has a lot of mountain holes for you to choose and see if you can balance your setup properly. Now, if these holes aren't enough for you, then obviously you have to dish out some money for this plate. But for now, we don't actually need this anymore. All right. So to begin this setup, go ahead and grab everything that comes with the DJI Ronin S and the follow focus motor. Um, I do have a question if you guys know where I can get more of these because I would rather have two instead of one. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna need the DJI Ronin S quick riser plate that they include with the gimbal. You're gonna need the quick release plate with two screws on it. Now after that, you're gonna need this, which is the rod that connects to the follow focus motor. So the first thing we're actually gonna assemble is this thing right here, the quick plate and then the, uh, the, the riser plate and the quick release plate. So what we're gonna do is have this thing go pretty much all the way to the edge of the plate, of the riser plate, right, right here. And we're gonna make sure they're just lined up like this. Make sure that they're flushed like that. And then we're gonna screw that in, in the back using this little screw. They have holes on the back side of that as well. Now I would, easiest way is just go ahead and line it up and then screw it in the back like so. Just make sure they're flushed like this so it's all neat. Screw that in, the screwdriver is okay. Let's go ahead and that's good to go. Now the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and install the, install the quick release plate to the camera. Oh shoot, I don't remember which hole it was. Let's see if I can find it. It looks like it's that one. Let's go ahead and install it in this one. And we're gonna do some trial and error because I did not mark it. I should have, I'm just installing the quick release to the, the bottom of the, uh, the cage here. I don't know if that's gonna give us enough clearance. I hope it does. Ah, uh, yeah, it does. That's good, that's good. All right, so we pushed the plate all the way to the very end and it seemed like that fixed it. So let's go ahead and tie this up. That was close. So let's go ahead and tie it all the way up. Okay, that one's good, real secure. Let's go ahead and make sure this one's good. That one's good to go. Now you're automatically gonna know why we need that quick riser plate right here. It's because whenever we install the lens support, we wanna make sure that it actually reaches the lens, because if not, that kind of defeats the purpose. All right, so let's go ahead and check that out. It's off a little bit, but I think that will work. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is install the rod support. Now, as you all know, the camera is left heavy, so I'm gonna try and install this on the opposite side of the heavy side. So that's gonna be here by the battery. Let's go ahead and put this here. And then the thing that I was telling you guys about, this little screw right here, I would rather have two installed instead of just one because there are two screws right here, M4, or M4 holes, there's two. So I wanna use two, but for now we'll just use one. Let's go ahead and screw this in. Okay. Screw this. This right here, seems a lot better already. It looks better, everything is flushed, everything looks good. So we'll see what happens here. So after that's done, the next thing we're gonna do, like I said, is install the little support. There we go. So I'm gonna find a little screw, thumb screw that comes with it. Things like this. All right, or is it the other way around? Mm -hmm. Let's try it this way, cause the logo. So I'm gonna have it line up Right here. Okay. Have it lined up 
perfectly like that. All right, just tighten it up a little bit right here. And this works a lot better. This looks a lot better, feels a lot better than the previous setup we have. Now, we absolutely need this because if not, it's gonna have a little bit of play. So let me go ahead and show you guys this up close before we continue on. All right, so now up close, you kind of see what we did. We installed the quick release plate to the riser plate and then installed the rod right there so that we can use the lens support on the lens because this Sigma 1835 is pretty beasty. So this is the top view of the setup so far and this is the bottom with a quick release plate and then the quick riser and then the rod installed. So let's go ahead and continue on. Continuing on with the setup, we'll install the DJI focus motor. Let's go ahead and remove this for now. Put this here. Loosen it up a little bit. Might have it backwards. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna need to move this rod that way. Now, I don't wanna push it all the way up just for weight purposes. Try to help the gimbal and balance as much as you can. So just don't push everything to the front because the lens is already front heavy. Okay. Let's see what happens here. That's perfect. That's better. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that that's connected to it. I'm gonna flip it over, it's better. Okay, make sure the teeth is synced in. Okay, then we're gonna tighten it up, push it. All right. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, is that camera shifting? Yeah, the camera's shifting right here. That's weird. That's freaking weird. It must be the plate. Yeah, the, the plate is shifting. All right, so obviously gonna fine tune this stuff. It's shifted whenever I installed the follow focus ring. So we're gonna straighten it out. I must have pushed it a little bit too much. It's big bag on there. That was close. It's scary. All right, plugging it in. So we'll have to worry about it later. All right, I'm backing it up so you can see it better. Let's try this again. Balancing it. Good. Side to side's good. Let's get front and back. There you go. All right. All right. That kind of shifted stuff a little bit. So we're gonna have to fix this. This is probably the most important axis, in my opinion. Look at that. Looking good. Okay. Falling forward, that means we gotta move back. Too much. Too much. Okay. Clip it in. On the side. Dunsky. Do the yaw real quick. Yaw's good. Yaw's good. Okay. Now this cable. 
They need to make a shorter cable. That's what's throwing off the balance a little bit. See? That's pretty solid. All right, and you can always check the app to see how solid your setup is. Let's turn it on. All right, power the camera on. Power the Ronin on. And we're gonna power the camera on. Here's our setup. I'm telling you, this handle right here on the right helps a little bit better. All right, yeah, the jitter's gone. That's perfect. It works flawlessly. Really nice. All right. Okay, guys. Sorry that took forever, but it looks like the Pocket 4K cage from Tilto works perfectly on the Ronin S, works, works perfectly with the DJI Focus Motor.